Hey, do you want to learn how to fix the unexpected WSL error in Docker Desktop? In this video, I'm going to help solve your problem. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's get to it. So currently you can see that I've got this Docker Desktop open up and I have it running. The engine is running and it's all working. But the first time when I tried to install it, there was an error on it, that unexpected WSL error. There are two methods that I've tried in order to fix it. And I'm going to show you what those two methods are. So for the first one, you need to click on this on the bottom, the start button, and then type in PowerShell, which is going to show up over here. This is Windows PowerShell. Now you need to right click it and run as administrator. Now you need to select yes on that pop-up. And after that, it's going to open up. Make sure that this is run as administrator and not just directly, you will run that. Now inside this, you need to type in WSL and two times minus, type in update. So WSL, two of these dashes, the minus button, click on that two times and then update. Now, once you've typed this, press enter on your keyboard, which is going to check for updates and it's going to say that this is the most recent version. In your case, it's a possibility that it has not been updated and it's going to update it in real time. Once you have done this, do a restart of your PC or laptop. Once it has been restarted, try to run the Docker desktop again. This is going to help solve that error for most of the people, but if it still didn't work, there's an, another method that I've tried, which ultimately made it work, which is called hyper virtualization. So you need to enable it, the hyper V in your motherboard BIOS. And in order to do it, I've made another video on it, but I'm going to play it right now as well. So you can check it out. And in my case, I've got an MSI motherboard. So I'm going to show you where you can enable this. And it's called as SVM in overclock settings. So take a look at it. Now, once you have enabled the hyper virtualization in your motherboard BIOS, and once enabled, just press the X button on here and reboot your PC. And once you're back to the windows, try to run the Docker desktop again. And I was going to show up another error. The hyper virtualization would be on, but it's going to ask you to enter a command prompt. So same like before, we're going to go over to PowerShell and run as administrator, run that command over there. Now you need to restart your PC again. Once you're back to the windows, you just need to run the Docker desktop again. This time I'm sure that your Docker desktop should be working fine. And that's it. That's how you can fix this unexpected WSL error in Docker desktop. Did this video help solve your problem? Let me know with a like and comment. And if you want to learn more about Docker desktop, or maybe you want to install N8N on Docker desktop, there's a playlist on the right hand side, which is going to appear right now. There will be more tutorials on Docker desktop and other AI tools. So check them out and bye for now.